Jesus said, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. By all accounts, Christians should be gentle and humble like Jesus. We should have a rest in our souls and offer welcome to others. But I'm afraid some Christians fixate on one true thing at the expense of the whole picture. Using this diagram I call the cube, we're going to look at each of these extremes individually and then see how the New Testament points us toward balance. Because we've all seen versions of Christianity that go too far in one direction. Like this. This is a billboard that just appeared by the road I take home from work. I will not deny that a billboard could possibly help someone remember their need for accountability. But it bothers me that hell is in all caps and heaven is not, and that gentleness is missing from the picture entirely. I think billboard Christianity exemplifies the right side of the cube, the side called rules. Here, the rules rule over you. Sky Jathani has called this life under God, where we see God, or rather his law, as a crushing force we must obey. And this obedience to rules is a double-edged sword. Those with low self-esteem submit to the rules. Those with excessive self-esteem command the rules with billboards or megaphones or manipulative preaching. Rules religion also tends to idolize not just spiritual laws, but also cultural laws, confusing the kingdom of God with the kingdoms of this world. But let us keep in mind that we are often dealing with well-meaning people who have landed on this extreme due to bad experiences at the opposite extreme. Because if on the right Christianity is all rules, on the left it is a little too free. Let me tell a story to illustrate. I had just moved, and I was looking for a church, online, during the pandemic. One Sunday, I attended a local church where the pastor preached on Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. I was glad to hear an encouraging message, but I became distressed as the pastor came to his main point. When your enemies hate on you, that's an invitation being sent out. Watch me eat. The pastor just kept repeating this. You see, verse 5 says, You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. So that pastor promised us that God would bless us and make our enemies watch us eat. This invitation to gloat had none of the rule-following gloating of the top right, but a little attention to the humility and even the rules of Jesus might have balanced this out, such as, Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Instead of receiving God's grace and extending it to our enemies, the message I heard that day was, watch me eat. The freedom extreme, rather than unconditional love, promises unconditional prosperity. Which is why even a humble freedom is not enough. So many Christians with low self-esteem, who perhaps have been mistreated by rules religion, feel unable to connect to a church. And so, freedom leaves them drifting without goals, boundaries, or relationships. I originally made the cube because I noticed how easy it was to stray toward one or the other of these extremes. But let me repeat what I said in the first video, in Bible terms. All of these are good things. Humility, as we know the New Testament teaches, is good and it teaches that confidence is good. In Jesus and through faith in him, we may approach God with freedom and confidence. Freedom is good. And at the same time, the law of God, in Paul's words, is holy, righteous, and good. Jesus shows us a way that brings the good in each of these together. He calls us to humble ourselves. But being humble and denying ourselves is just the first part. We then find a new life, filled with humble confidence in the hope that we have and in who God has made us to be. Humble yourselves before the Lord, and he will lift you up. 
Similarly, the New Testament offers an incredible balance between the value of freedom and the value of rules. Consider these words. You, my brothers and sisters, were called to be free. But do not use your freedom to indulge the flesh. Rather, serve one another humbly in love. For the entire law is fulfilled in keeping this one command. Love your neighbor as yourself. Jesus frees us from the heavy burden of rules religion, and he gives us a new yoke, a new kind of service, where the only rule is a rule of love, where accountability doesn't have to be judgmental, where community is humble and gentle, where we can serve one another with grace and freedom. Find people you can share your life and faith with. And when you meet people whose religious extremes rub you the wrong way, I hope this video can help you understand where they're coming from, and that you can show them a more balanced, more Christian way. A God of love, whose Son gives us humble confidence to live in a spirit of graceful service.